the sun. Um, it's really sunny today and I'm really happy about it. But I just got off of work and I rushed rushed on over to Trader Joe's because I'm trying to beat that rush hour traffic. I live in Charlotte, which is a big city in North Carolina and if I don't beat rush hour traffic, I am literally in my car for way longer than I need to be. Like, I'm in my car for an hour when my work is only like 20 minutes away from my house. And I try to be patient, but nothing irks me more than rush hour traffic. I just really hate being in the car. I feel like I'm wasting my time and my gas and my patience is just not there. <laughs> so... I literally have like no food at my house because last week if you follow me on Instagram you would know <laughs> go follow me but I had the flu last week and so I've literally not had an appetite until like three days ago like which is very strange for me you know but you know it's serious when your girl's not eating because that's my favorite thing to do in the world but it's fine anyways um so I'm going to Trader Joe's and I wanted to show you guys what I got and what I get whenever my fridge is literally barren and I have nothing in it. So I'm getting some stuff that I just want to get. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to go in because it's really hot. And I'll see you guys. I might take you in. Alright, I'm going to be honest with you guys. Because you're my friends. I don't, I really shouldn't care, but I do. I still do. I need to get over it. But I get so uncomfortable whenever I try to record myself in public places. Like, there's a lady sitting in the car right next to me, and I feel so awkward. But it's fine. I'm getting over, I'm, I'm making baby steps. Baby steps. Because, like, I mean, when you think about it, people really don't care what you're doing. Like, I know when I go in the grocery store, I'm, like, laser focused on what I'm buying, like, what I'm going to make with the food I'm buying. I'm just really excited to be in the grocery store to buy my food. And I'm not, I don't care what Karen over there is buying or if she's choosing the low sodium version of the black beans that she's getting or not. Like, I'm not paying any mind to her. So there's no, but nobody's gonna care if I'm in there, like, getting quick little videos but it's still just i just get so i get nervous i don't know i just need to get over it okay i'm procrastinating because i don't want to get out of the car all right i might see you inside who knows <laughs> So I always get blueberries every week. I put them in my oatmeal or just eat a handful of them for a quick antioxidant boost. I got some raspberries as well, same thing. And then I also got some cotton candy grapes. If you guys have not tried these before, go get them. Trader Joe's has them right now. They're like, they literally just eat one. It literally tastes like cotton candy. They're so good and they're so hard to find. And I finally found them. And then I just got two avocados for some avocado toast in the morning. I got some bread for that. And then I got two apples because I eat an apple almost every single day. And I don't have enough for this week, so I just grabbed some. And then some bananas. These are very green. But it's okay. I'm hoping they'll ripen up soon. And then I got some baby spinach for my eggs in the morning. Some butter lettuce because I'm going to make some taco salad burrito bowl things. Some organic broccoli florets, some shredded, what are these? Shredded Brussels sprouts because I'm gonna get my roommate's dog. He's sniffing all the stuff. Some organic um, shaved Brussels sprouts because I've been really craving them. And I, this week for either lunch or dinner, I don't really know yet. I'm making a little flatbread pizza, uh, like veggie flatbread pizza with some um, chicken on top. 
I got some eggs because I eat eggs almost every morning. Here are the little flatbreads for those pizzas. And I also just picked up some pizza sauce for them. So I'm just going to put some pizza sauce, some cheese, all these veggies. And then I also got some of these grilled chicken breasts. These are um, already cooked. You just heat them up and serve them, which is really good for me because I'm always on the go. And I take my lunch to go on. I don't want to bring like a raw chicken breast or like whatever. And then I also got some asparagus, some guacamole for my burrito bowls. And then I got some roasted garlic from this for some carrots. And or I also picked up these beet cracker things. They're three seed beet crackers. They're gluten free. Um, I just thought these would be a healthy little snack to eat because I've been trying to up my micronutrients that I've been eating because I've noticed that I eat like the same color foods and I'm trying to introduce some more micronutrients into my diet. Um, and then I got some salsa for my burrito bowls and some sourdough bread for my avocado toast in the morning. Um, and then I also, so I really like Whitney Simmons. I follow her on YouTube and she just got this um, polo asado authentico it's just thin sliced chicken breast um and some pollo asado sauce and she said it was really good so i'm going to put this in the crock pot and shred it up just to have in the fridge for all of my meals for my burrito bowls whatever i want um and trader joe's is crazy and when i so when i went to the grocery store earlier i was really hungry so on my home i ate some of these <laughs> these are just vegetable root chips um they're just like sweet potatoes, taro, or taro, however you say that, and then uh, parsnips, and they're really good. Pretty dang good, if you ask me. I need to stop eating these though. Probably gonna spoil my dinner. I didn't get these from Trader Joe's, but I got them actually from Target because I eat these every single day. I love layer bars and I really like layer bars because they're not filled with junk like other snack bars or protein bars are um, they only have like six to eight ingredients in all of the different flavors which is really good um, if I can read all the ingredients then that's a good thing so I just got the mint chip brownie this one's probably my favorite of all time and then I've never seen this one before but it's really good it's called it's the chocolate hazelnut swirl so I bring these with me for my lunches during the week. And then I also picked up this Honeycrisp apple candle because I'm trying to switch all the candles in my house to soy candles with a cotton wick because I heard recently that regular candles that aren't soy or beeswax or whatever, and if you don't use a cotton wick, they're actually very toxic. And I don't want to be breathing that in, so. Oh, I almost forgot the best part. Get it. I almost forgot the three most important things. Got these in one of my What I Eat in a Day videos. The Trader Joe's pumpkin waffles. Girl, these are a game changer. They're so good. And they're only 180 calories for two waffles. I either have two waffles every morning or oatmeal every morning with my eggs. I switch it out just to add a little variety these are good i'm not even a huge like pumpkin person i mean i guess i am i don't know but these are like to die for and then i got the best jasmine rice in the whole entire world it's frozen you just put it in the microwave and it has about six servings per container which is just enough for your girl so i'm going to use the this jasmine rice for my burrito bowls and then I saw these and I really wanted to try them. They are just, they're called Gone Bananas. They're just dark chocolate covered banana slices. And I really want to try one right now. So let us try one together. Oh, they're so cute. Oh my gosh, look at this little. Do not defrost, just open and enjoy. Sock monkeys are like my favorite thing ever. Fun fact.
Wow. 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 Those are good. Mmm. It's like banana ice cream. Mmm. I need to put this away. One more. One more for the road, Jack. Wow. Alright, sorry. Those were really good. Okay, I think that's all I got. Okay. So. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you do like videos like this, please comment that down below in the comments so I know to make more videos like these in the future. And if you don't mind, will you please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up because it really supports your girl and helps your girl out and it just makes me happy. Go ahead and do it because it really makes me happy. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time and go outside and do something that makes you happy. Okay, bye.